no one has the right to tell anyone in this country or anywhere in the world that they are inferior or their skin color makes them less of a human being. We are all created by God Almighty. The Sikhism is the fifth largest religion. It has 30 million adherents or followers all around the world and there are about 25,000 Sikhs who live in the Washington area. And when you see somebody wearing a turban, you will know that they belong to the Sikh community. Just as Martin Luther King said, don't judge people by the color of their skin. Do not judge Sikhs by the color of their turban. And the color of the turban that I'm wearing today is, is represents freedom, liberation. And I purposely wore this turban to give this message that we stand for freedom for all. We stand for justice for all. We stand for human rights for all. Our founder, Guru Nanak, 550 years ago, gave a wonderful message. And I would like to sing that message. Japo man mere ho wo chakar saache ke re ho wo chakar saache ke re hum nahi change bura. Ranvat Nanak Tare Soe Pranvat Nanak Tare Soe Guru Nanak says that education, your, all your learning and your religion should make you a kind person, a benevolent person, a helpful person. A person who reflects and spreads love. And if you are not doing that, then don't claim yourself to be an educated person or a religious person. Just as Martin Luther King struggled, not just for African American community, not only for black people, he struggled for every American. And the reason, the very reason, the immigrants who are here who call this country as their home, Many of us are sitting here. We need to have a, a deeper gratitude for all the struggles that the black community went through to create the Civil Rights Act that we could enjoy the freedom and the right to vote in this country. So I want to salute all the black community stalwarts and the freedom fighters who fought for all Americans. And we need to always be having a gratitude for them. One of the things which Guru Nanak also emphasized that each one of you, each one of us have a divine plan. We have been sent in this world with a special purpose. We should never allow anyone to tell us that we are inferior or we don't belong in this country or we don't belong in this world. We have been sent here by God Almighty, the one who created this entire universe. No one has the right to tell anyone in this country or anywhere in the world that they are inferior or their skin color makes them less of a human being. We are all created by God Almighty. So at the end, I would like to bring a message of love from the Sikh community. Since pandemic began, we started serving food to citizens of Montgomery County. On March 14th, when the country closed, we opened our kitchen and we started serving food, 500 meals every day to many shelters here, women's shelter, youth shelter, senior citizen shelter. And I want to, happily I want to report to you that today we have completed 400,000 meals since March 2020. And all of the meals are prepared by volunteers 
if anyone would like to come and join us in cooking food, but you will have to have a loving feeling. With you have to have that sense that you are serving your own family. You're not serving somebody who is deprived or a poor or somebody that we judge them to be of a lesser of a person. We need to treat everyone as they are our family members. So every meal is cooked with 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 a lot of love and dedication. So we want to thank the Montgomery County for giving us the opportunity to be coming together and also have a sense of love and sense of togetherness. Thank you. Please stand for the national anthem. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what's so Oh, say does that start spangled? Be 